you've been here only 24 hours and you've noticed that high quality and um, excellence in people working together is, is key in our community. Uh, Bentonville started kind of as a sleepy little town. It's just grown and had unprecedented growth in the past five to ten years and we've just really been fortunate with that growth but also challenged by the challenges that come with growth like infrastructure and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. We're addressing those things but we're also addressing quality of life issues and our library is a shining example of quality of life. And we also have very nice trails and park systems in our city and you know it's just a really lovely place to live. It's a nice community feel but also a nice progressive and diversity within our community. It's, it's just um, very Tell nice. me a little bit about the people in Bentonville. I know we talked about the children's section, mm -hmm. but what about your older population as well? Do you feel there's a sort of a span, an intergenerational span in the community? When I saw the, the mm -hmm. women who were from the Daughters mm -hmm. of the American Revolution, I thought, well, that's, you know, that's mm -hmm. sort of your older group. Mm -hmm. Is that what that group looks like, or do you have sort of young retirees coming in from other well, this is a small yeah. community in Benton County, mm -hmm. and it's known for it being a retirement community. Mm -hmm. So we have several people who've retired in Benton County from other parts of the world. And we also have early retirees who've moved to this area for that reason, too. But then we have, we just have a great cross-section of ages and cultures and races, and it's just nice to see those faces in our library. And like you mentioned, the Daughters of the American Revolution, and one of them is one of our genealogy volunteers, and she's just the sweetest person. So it's so nice to see those people coming in and using it. Bentonville is a city-funded institution, but we service all of Benton County. Because Bentonville's the county seat, we know that people come here for other reasons, for government issues. But also, they come here to work, and they come here for other, other reasons. And we feel it's important to offer that service. Also, we service the Bentonville School District, which is outside of Bentonville. So Bella Vista, mm -hmm. Centerton, other small communities, small towns right outside of Bentonville are in the school district. Mm -hmm. So that's why we feel committed to doing that. Uh, the range of people we see in here, and again, is just from the young children who come to story time to the, the children in school and then their parents. It's just a great mix of people. And they come from all over the county to, Penny, to see our library and, and use our services. And to use it. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest challenge right now? Our biggest challenge is actually accommodating extraordinary usage in our children's department. It really is, because we have such a great core group of story time users, a great core group of kids who come and use our collections that um, we just are almost busting at the seams mm -hmm. in the children's department, which is a good problem to have. But, um, right, that's your future. Yes, it is our future. We love to see that. We, we, we cherish that. So um, that's probably our biggest challenge, of course, with every institution. You're always concerned about funding. So um, the city of Bentonville is very supportive. We're, we're supported by generally tax revenue. Mm -hmm. We do not have a dedicated tax, but um, everything I've asked for in the past few years I've gotten because they are so supportive. Mm -hmm. One of our great needs and one of our great opportunities for growth is developing collections in general. And the collections specifically that we've addressed needing needing uh, developed further was the literacy collection. So when I saw the American Dream Starts at Your Library opportunity, I really felt like that's something we could really use and really do something with. Um, I feel like collections are, and it could be audiovisual, print, or digital collections, it will primarily be, primarily be for adults with adult basic literacy needs and also English as a second language needs. Um, some bilingual materials maybe for children and adults so they can read and grow together. But collections are the heart of why many people come to our library. And we feel like if we can develop those and really expand that opportunity and market that, then we are looking at better serving that demographic and hopefully out re reaching out to people who may not know we are here and offer that service or informing them of new activities or new services or also informing patrons who may not need those services, but just uh, addressing the issue and letting people know that literacy is a challenge in our community, as it is in many communities.
We do partner with the Literacy Council of Benton County. According to them, 30,000 people, adults in Benton County, cannot read, write, or speak to the English. It's language. very interesting to look at when you fund a program or an initiative like this and you try to visualize what it can do for your community. It could, it could be a return on investment that's priceless. I mean, it could really change someone's life. So just even if we meet a, a small community need, impacting that group exponentially impacts our whole community because that literacy uh, is, a, is a challenge and it's also a luxury for some people and yes. we, that's the people we want to reach. I think some of us take our literacy for granted in our, in our country. So this is the kind of opportunity where we can be committed to changing that and make it not be a luxury for some but actually just that actually already right. begun going to the public schools and visiting with the ESL um, community there. Mm -hmm. We've taken one of our staff members who speaks Spanish as her native language. So she's able to communicate freely with, freely with the parents and the, the teenagers that we're seeing. We're promoting our teen programs with them, but we're also promoting our Mango language database mm -hmm. learning opportunity with the adults. So the adults are calling and asking specifically for the staff member who speak Great. Spanish to help them learn how to use this new database. So that's one really nice opportunity. We've already reached about 200 people with that mm -hmm. outreach lately. But we hope to develop a brochure that will highlight our opportunities for literacy, ESL or mm -hmm. ABL, and just be able to get that in there. If they do not know about it, they're not going to come here. But if they, if they can find out more about what the library can provide for them, then that's the goal.